Hello everyone, this is Dave Erickson with EverymanTry.com, November 2010. Officially my off season, but I'm already training and planning for the 2011 triathlon season. One of my not so favorite things to do is swimming in the off season, but I found something I think that'll make it a lot more fun and make swimming my newest favorite activity. It's the Finesse Swim P3 or Swim MP3, a waterproof digital music player. This model came out in the fall of 2009. It retails for 150 bucks, but I have found it elsewhere for cheaper online. A few of the features before I give you my personal review include what it calls bone conduction technology. This feature directly vibrates the inner ear to create the highest quality of music underwater possible. It's MP3 and WMA compatible, iTunes convertible, which means you can listen to music, audiobooks, and my favorite, podcasts with incredible quality of sound while you're swimming underwater. It offers a full gigabyte of storage that amounts to about 250 songs or 15 hours of music, which is nice. It also has hydrodynamic clips, which attach securely to your goggle strap and gently rests on your cheekbones. On its website, you can actually download a user guide, or there's also a phone number and email address for tech support. It's at finesseinc.com. Now, as a triathlete, swimming is just one aspect of my training. Again, not my most favorite, but it is becoming something I enjoy more and more. The challenging thing about swimming is breaking up the monotony. You can do that by joining a master's group or by using one of these devices. Swimming with the Swim MP or Swim MP3 is very easy. The size is just about right in my opinion, as you see here. If it were any bigger, it might become a real drag. It even stays on during flip turns. The sound quality is surprisingly good underwater, even when I turn my head to breathe. I tend to crank up the volume when I work out, and with this I have found little to no sound distortion. The sound quality is most consistent, I found, when my head is at or below the surface. Charging was simple, and loading music from my personal collection was even easier. Once you plug in the USB adapter, it automatically pops up on your computer. When you do pull songs over into your Swim P3 file, they will play in the order they were loaded, and you can easily rearrange and delete songs on your computer. Some people have had issues with the instructions, but it doesn't seem that difficult to me at least. Placement is a matter of preference and comfort. I've experimented with locations and found my sweet spot in no time, and each earphone has a clip to attach to your swim goggles, and the cord connecting the two, which includes a USB port, can easily be tucked underneath the strap on the back of your head. The only element I find challenging is pressing the next or volume buttons. You need to press quite firmly. The same goes for the on-off button, which is in the red there. It may take some time getting familiar with the buttons and where they're positioned since you can't see them when it's on your head. One thing I noticed in the beginning was I wasn't holding down the next or volume button long enough to increase the volume. If you press and release too quickly, it'll advance to the next song. Again, by becoming familiar with where the buttons are, it'll help you avoid hitting the wrong ones. The manual says a full charge should take about three hours and last a good eight hours of playback. I tend to charge my electronic devices on a daily basis, so not a big problem for me. Plus, I'm not going to be swimming for more than two hours at a time. One thing I did notice, though, there's no display on the device itself to let you know how much juice is left. That would be a nice feature. I feel kind of lucky that this is my first ever underwater MP3 player. I've heard of other brands that use waterproof cases, and people complain that those cases can leak and damage your audio device. Not the issue with this one. It may not have a fancy display, but for what I'm trying to accomplish, it does the job just fine. And one more thing, I am now swimming farther and longer now because I don't want to stop in the middle of a song. And by having my favorite songs on my playlist, I can dictate the tempo of my workout. Nice little bonus. I'm giving the Finesse Swim P3 two fins up. I'm Dave Erickson for EverymanTry.com.